Today, we're driving into a new features of ChatGPT, the company knowledge. Ever imagine that your AI can actually remember your business? Imagine how that could be. Your SOPs, your policies, your clients' infos, all in one place with just one prompt to wait. Well, now it can. I'll show you what it is, how it works, and how to turn your chat GPT into your company's second brain. Okay, so what is it? Company knowledge is a new feature only available for those with enterprise, business, and education plan. It allows you to connect your internal tools like Slack, Google Drive, Asana, HubSpot, right to your ChatGPT. So instead of relying on old, outdated public data, ChatGPT can now literally pull from your company reels document. Think of it as your own private knowledge base powered by AI. So how does it actually work? Well, when you activate the company knowledge feature, you can connect your data sources from ChatGPT settings panel. Once connected, Every prompt, every query will be answered based on your company's internal data, securely and privately. For example, your team can ask, what's our refund policy? Who's the account manager for a client X? Or show me the latest onboarding SOP. And ChatGPT reply using actual files and messages connected from your sources. It doesn't guess, it knows. So let's go ahead and test it. All right, so if you see here, we are on ChatGPT. If you're in the enterprise plan, business plan, education plan, you should see this new logo right here, company knowledge. So in order to get started, we can just click this company knowledge button just under the message composer. So we just need to click it right here. And because we are using it for the first time, we need to connect our work apps. So if you see here, we have a couple of things from Google Drive, Slack, Gmail, Google Calendar, GitHub, HubSpot, Google Contacts, and a lot of other stuff. So we need to connect this. And after that, whenever we enable it, ChatGPT will look across all these apps and it will bring relevant contacts into its answers. So let's try to connect a few. Um, I'm going to try Gmail, Slack, and Google Drive. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, we're connecting to Gmail right here. Continue. Okay, let me choose my account. It's using sign in with Google, pretty standard. Okay, Gmail is connected. As you can see, you have this checklist here. Now let's connect to Google Drive as well. Google Drive is also connected. You can see the checklist here, and now let's go with Slack. Okay, now let's continue with these three apps right here. So let's try to use this company knowledge because here I am a content creator and I usually put my content on Google Drive and talk about it in Slack. So let's say something like, what is the content that I'm planning for this week? So we don't mention any platform here, so it would just see our Gmail, Google Drive, and Slack, and let's see how it does and if it's correct or not. And as you can see here, it's searching our internal apps. You can see it here on the sidebar. Okay, it's searching, it's searched Google Drive and Slack. It's searching all Google Docs, Content Briefs, Slack. You can see all the sources here. And as you can see here, the first one is already correct. Deep dive tutorial about ChatGPT company knowledge, which is what I'm doing now. And then lead magnet, yes, this is true. Okay, yes, this is very, very true. So you can see it knows and it search all of this data right in my chat GPT. And we can definitely use it for a lot more capabilities like synthesize an insight, create a report or build a plan. We can definitely try to do this and how to use it in the best practice or the best way possible effectively, you would say. I would say first that you need to keep your files organized. That is definite because ChatGPT can only be as smart as your data structure. Clear naming and folder organization makes a huge difference. And you can start small, start with first yourself, with your team first, like the HR department, sales or operations before rolling it out company-wide. And then you can set proper access controls. Always use read-only permissions if you only need to read it just to keep your data safe and unaltered. So that is ChatGPT company knowledge. There are a few things you need to know about this new ChatGPT feature, company knowledge. 
how it behaves and what are the current limitations for now. Well, first, it's only available for ChatGPT Business, Enterprise, and Education. Second, when this feature are active, browsing and image generation are turned off. ChatGPT will stay within your internal data only. Third, your company data will not be used to train the AI models and it is fully encrypted. It is not meant to replace documentation, but it enhances it by making those documentation be accessible instantly. So that's ChatGPT company knowledge, a simple yet game-changing step toward AI-driven operation. And if you found this helpful, make sure to like and subscribe to the video. And if you'd rather to have our team to help you with your automation end-to-end -end professionally, you can book a consultation at xautomation.co, where we help businesses save time, scale faster, and operate smarter. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.